Welcome back to our channel. It's Max and Luck. So it's about 10.54 p.m. Um, I don't know about you guys, but how long does it take you to do DIYs? I find that it takes us quite a long time, wouldn't you say? Yeah, because we're not handy people. Um, I'm not a handy person. I'm trying, I'm learning, doing things um, with what I see or asking questions. You've already told them in previous videos, you're only there to supervise and drink wine. Okay, why do you have to call me out? Right? Like, that's not the whole point. <laughs> Wait, that was but, no, but if you helped more or if you were on the same page, maybe things may get done a little faster. Anyways, the point that I was trying to make is that when we do when we yes. do DIYs, I find that the process is long. And I just wanted to hear from you guys if you comment in the comment section below, um, if you guys are DIYers, like how long does it take you? Yes, we have full time jobs and, and stuff, but I just want to know like when you guys start a project, does it take a few days? In our case, a few weeks. Right. Like, how long does your DIYs take? Um, so if you guys let us know in the comment section below, that would be great. Because um, we plan on doing more DIYs. Oh, sure. But I just find that it takes us such a long time. Right. So I don't know if there's any tips to help us do it faster. But, but yeah. So anyways, we're sitting here in the kitchen. Um, I know you guys are probably anxious to see the results of... <laughs> of the kitchen um but yeah we installed the backsplash and backsplash <laughs> i said back yeah you just sound funny <laughs> anyways we installed it i think it came out pretty good yeah um the whole idea around this when we initially first started the process we knew we wanted a two-tone kitchen um uh, meaning that we wanted the cabinets one color yeah. um and then the island a different color then we evolved from there. We did like two tone cabinet and countertops. Right. No, cabinet. Island, island. Island and countertops. So you can't really see that the cupboards underneath the island are gray. And the rest of the cabinets in the kitchen on camera it looks white, but it's like an oyster color they used to they, yeah, called, that's it. What they called it. Yeah. So it's not a fully white, it's like a white with a hint of gray in it. Um, so anyways, I, I say that to say when we first decided to do the back splash, um, we were going to go with white, yeah. you remember like white and gray and luck and I were in the store, obviously looking and we stumbled upon this black one. Um, same style. We, we always knew we wanted the hexagon. Like when we decided that's what we wanted, that's what we were going for. Yeah. But then we saw the black. So we were a bit nervous. It would have been too dark, maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. Especially because you guys seen that we did the feature wall, which is right next to the kitchen, um, that the room would have probably been dark. Right. And obviously, we I you seen that we put up black drapes. So we didn't know how dark the room would look. But honestly, it doesn't seem dark. Not at all. Um, especially with our black stainless steel appliances. And now the fact that we put in the counter... The island, you made the island light. I think that's what really helped it. Right. Like lighten up the yeah, room. Yeah, it did. It did. And we extended it. So it seems much more um, lighter than what we thought. Yeah. Um, and then with the grout, we did like a gray silver grout. Mm -hmm. So we were worried that it'd be dark because I think some people would have did a white grout. Yes. But we didn't want that no. contrast. No. And right? we find that white grout in certain places, especially with high traffic areas, the dirt shows way too much. Yeah. It's too hard to clean. Yeah, like in, in our house, all of the grout is gray. Yeah. So I think um, we made a pretty good choice. Um, this part. I want to give luck credit because cutting these tiles were not was not easy. No. <laughs> was not easy at all. And even when, and you have to give me credit, because even when you were doubting yourself, I was telling you, yes, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, you're like, pushing for sure. Like yeah. when it comes to support, like you're you you're on me, you ride me for support, and I love that. Yeah. yeah. So that was pretty good. So that's where the teamwork came in, and just having that extra set of eyes, like yeah. that keen eye to say, 
that's a little bit lean or do this, do that. So that was pretty good. And then you guys see, so will see in the video that I jumped in and helped out <laughs> grow just a little bit, just a little she bit. She got her hands dirty. Not my forte, but at least I can say that I grouted a certain section of the kitchen. Um, but yeah, I would say that it looks pretty good. We still have a little bit more to do. Like we want to repaint the walls. Yeah. Um, we want to put some paintings. Um, I also want to change the cabinet handles and like pull knobs. I think they're called. Right. Um, we're still debating. Don't give them the color yet. Maybe we should, if you follow us on Instagram, maybe we'll post two different ones there and you guys can actually help us pick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so still debating on that. And then of course we're going to change the, the faucet. Right. Um, and we're debating on that too, whether we want to let it match our appliances or I don't know, we'll probably pull, do a poll again on, on Instagram. And then finally we're going to do the organization in the cupboards. Right. Um, yeah. So is that something you guys um, would like to see from us in terms of how we organize our kitchen, especially now that we have these uppers that are 10 foot, um, who's going to reach up there. Right. Yeah. But uh, would you guys like to see that? Let us know. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys can comment, let us know. Um, I have a whole spice organization and I'm going to get some cabinet organization under the sink and stuff as well. Um, I don't know. I think that's kind of like our pet peeve amongst ourselves. Like we like to have a place for everything. Yes. So it's not like it's a TikTok hype for us. It's just like, this is how we really are. Like we like yeah. to have a place for every single thing, especially um, with the three girls that we have. Like mm -hmm. things just get unorganized or misplaced really easy. What's up everybody? Welcome to the kitchen again. This is, um, I believe, episode... Hi. Yes, Nori Bear. I believe this is episode um, three or oh. four of the kitchen. And we're going to be doing the backsplash. Four, four, four. So as you can see, I'll give you guys a little preview of what the walls look like right now. Can I right? Look? Not yet, Nori, not yet. So that's what it is. And um, our special guest that's joining the show, my brother Marcus, he's helping me out doing the backsplash. Marcus, say what up? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> We're going to get this done. Some tape. Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of that. Right? We can get a stencil here. That's the idea. That's what we want. So that's it. Right? Okay, yeah, that one here. That one? Yeah, that's the okay. same one that you're connecting, yeah, for oh, sure. Okay. And then you have the, another one that's going to go here. So it's only going to be too high. So think of it on the floor. Yeah. So this is the tile that we chose. Um, black with some white veins in it and wait till you guys see the grout. You're gonna love the grout as well. I should. I, I, I was going to say, I do so much bullshit, but man, I do. When you look back, you're like, I should have just wore it. <laughs> Trust me, I get some shit in my eye and I get yeah. it.
かいいですね。なwelcome back guys day two of the backsplash in the kitchen we just finished doing a template and uh, we're gonna get ready to cut after we cut and put up the last two sections um let it dry a little bit and then we'll start grouting maybe the bottom part which we did uh last time and then finish this off let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you guys would do differently if there's any tips or tricks that you guys know about. All right. Day three, um, normally it wouldn't take this long, but life has its own ways of making people have to do things in the meantime, so and so, right? But anyways, back with my brother Marcus again, we're gonna finish up. We just got a little piece to do, and then we're gonna do some grouting, correct? That's it. All right, how long do you think grouting takes? Probably like an hour or something. Yeah, all right, about an hour, hour and a half, given the, uh, the time and stuff we have to work with, so. Stick along, once that's done, we'll show you the, the reveal and hopefully you guys like it as much as we like it. All right? So what I was doing is I was using the wet saw to cut the tile. You can't cut it dry, or at least this one you can. So you have to use the wet saw to do it. And I'm just cutting it properly so it'll fit in when I put it in the wall. It's like a puzzle, jigsaw puzzle. Mm, okay. What's up everybody? It's probably day four of this. As you can see, the kitchen is almost complete. Um, I got a little bit more touch up of grouting to do. Uh, once that's done, it's gonna dry. Tomorrow when we get up, um, everything should be dry and we should be able to put the house or the kitchen back in order. That's what I'm hoping for. So wish me luck, as I said, grouting it up and getting ready. Here we go, Nat's uh, doing the grout. First time grouting, right babes? Yep. Nice. Right. <laughs> Why well, you don't want to do the downstairs? When we maybe do a bar with backsplash? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but I feel like I'll just do the designing and you can do. Oh, so that's what <laughs> kind of teamwork this is. 
Uh, That's the teamwork this is. No, this part's not too bad though. No. Not a lie. I just feel like we need different. Why don't you work with me? Like, why are you supervising? So, if you guys are noticing right here, one of the upgrades that we decided to do, we didn't plan on doing this, but it worked out pretty well, is we changed all the electrical outlets to matte black. So here you'll see we still have one white. That's because we couldn't find the matching set yet. So we're still on hunt for that. But look at it, the white looks okay, but the black looks so much more sexier. Don't you agree? <laughs> No, honestly, that's one of the things that we were talking about in regards to we changed one thing and then it would just kept going from there. I think the black came out nice. Yes. And look at that backsplash, guys. Look at that backsplash. And then we started to work on our range hood and we brought it all the way up. In fact, we couldn't get it to the ceiling because standard is, um, what is it, babes? Nine foot? Yeah. And our, our kitchen is 10 foot. Right. And um, you would have to buy an additional extender and you wouldn't believe the price. Like the extender to put that up to 10 foot all the way up was an additional 697, I think they said, plus tax. Correct. And it wasn't even in stock. So no. I'm kind of happy that we decided to go all the way up to the top with the backsplash up there because now that we use the standard height hood extender, it doesn't look bad. Like, we like it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look bad at and all. And then we also decided if we show up there um, to take it up there as well. Because I, I couldn't picture how the kitchen would look if we didn't extend it on top of the window as well. So yeah, let us know what you guys think. And as we mentioned, um, we're gonna change out the faucet. We want to get like a smart faucet. Not too sure if we should do black because our sink is black or if we should do, um, if we should do the same color as our appliances or if we should go black or a totally different metal. Um, we talked about changing this out. Um, I don't like the round. I wanna do like a straight line or more, maybe more of a square look. Again, I'm thinking of changing the metal on that as well. But uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think. And you can see some of the grout lines. It may look white in the video, but it's a gray silver. All right, babes, can we talk about our stools? Remember we talked about a little bit in our last video? So we got a few comments in regards to our stools. We actually went on a hunt for these stools. Um, if you guys notice, a lot of the things in this house is from HomeSense. And it's not, I don't, I wouldn't say it's on purpose. It's just where we've been finding things. So these stools, I found two in one location which were these two. 
And then I couldn't find the third one. We already had the measurements for our island, so we knew the size of the island and that we would essentially need two to three stools prior to moving in. Um, and one thing with HomeSense, if you guys are HomeSense shoppers, is once you see something once, you the chances of you seeing it again somewhere else is next to none. Right, and if you guys in the US or other places our home sense is equivalent to your home goods, home I believe. Goods. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's equivalent to that. So, anyways, make a long story short, we joined a Facebook group that, for home sense. Um, Luck posted the picture of one of the stools, and another home sense addict found the stool in a location that was like an hour and a half to or almost two hours away. Right. I had to call around. I called a coworker actually and she helped us get the extra stool so she got this extra stool for us and and yeah that's how we ended up with it it's not necessarily a set but we made it a set for us i like the fact that the one in the middle is different from the ends um i think it was a really good contrast and i like it right like so this is how it looks with three we're gonna show you what it looks like with two um, and see if that's a better fit because three is kind of crowded in terms of three adults can fit, but two adults plus our um, our baby Nori, she can fit. Yes, and that's the way it will probably mostly be because it'll either be the two, the three girls or just you and I and Luck and, and sorry, and Nori that would sit at the island together anyway. Right. So, for the most part, we keep it like this, with just the two. And um, when we're all gonna have like breakfast together or something, or if Nori's um, doing homework or whatever, we'll put the third chair in, the third stool in. So yeah. And then you guys will also notice the floors. I just think that everything together just combined just really goes well. Oh my God. Um, and the next thing here is this wall. So we mentioned on this wall here, I want to put an art piece here. Um, not too sure what yet, but it's very plain. We don't like a lot of pieces. We like things, um, just enough things. We right. don't want nothing overcrowded. And so yeah, maybe the next video, you guys will see how we style the island, um, the countertops, and you know, change out the handles. Um, hopefully you find the next um, outlet there in black. Oh, and the cupboard door is in. In the last Yay. video, Luck was all like, where's the cupboard door? Da, da, da. The cupboard door is here, installed. Yeah. Um, it looks great. Well, one thing I want to tell you guys real quick is, you probably saw it when we did a little bit of a close up. Right here, you see it says Samsung. Not Samsung, that's because the G fell off we called customer service, but their suggestion was, these are not really expensive. They said they're inexpensive, so what you do is peel it off or just buy an extra G and put it on yourself. No, they said to order the whole sticker thing again from their website right. and put it on. You're not just gonna buy a random sticker. Right. Well, yeah, from their website. Yeah, I think it was a G. Yeah, it like you could just go to the dollar store and buy a little <laughs> sticker and put it on there. No, like, not no. at all, not at all. All right. So that is it man our kitchen is 98 95 no, no i would say it's 90 percent complete 90 percent. because we're gonna do the cabinet the cupboards um the handles the, handles, the faucet but the cupboard like we want to do the lazy susan we want to do yes, all that stuff right. in the cupboard okay and then the spice stuff so like i would say it's 90 percent and we and i know we're gonna have a hard time finding art to go on that wall yeah that is true like it takes us a long time Boom. So if you guys any Love know any places where we can get some nice art pieces. Yeah, or even online too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good we idea. We shop online for any of you guys in the U.S. that think of um, anything that might fit our style. Hey, send us a website. Yeah. And also this area here, remember I was saying to you, yes. Luck? Like, I don't know. I find it very um, plain. And obviously, I don't want to put drapes here because it needs to our backyard. Um, so I, I need something in that area there. So let me know what you guys think. I am gonna put um, maybe a figurine or a nice plant there at the side. Um, we're gonna change out those vents too. 
Right. Um, so all those things to come. I don't know what type of event we're going to go with. We were going to go with the, what was it called? The area? Art yeah, event. where it's basically your hardwood is cut out into the vent shape. Yeah, so we got all the materials leading up to it, like the extra yeah. hardwood and stuff. And then we were talking to our HVAC company. He said that a lot of people were finding issues with air circulation and their bills were extra high because the air couldn't circulate through the house because of the style of it. Right. So now we're rethinking that idea. So if you guys come up with any ideas for us with the air vent covers, let us know. Um, we're open to it. I have a few ideas, but could always use some more. All right. And one thing I wanted to point out real quick is this sign right here. <laughs> Nat found it and I'm not gonna lie, it, it comes in handy. This way you always know if your dishwasher is dirty or clean, especially when the kids wash and stuff like that. 